Smartphone maker Poco has launched its third smartphone in India, the Poco M2 Pro. It features a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus display and a Snapdragon 720G chipset, paired with up to 6GB LPDDR4X RAM and 128GB UFS 2.1 storage. The M2 Pro comes with a 48MP quadra camera setup, a 16MP selfie camera with a dedicated night mode, and a 5000 mAh battery with 33W fast charging. It's also got a 3.5mm headphone jack, a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, and a P2i nano coating for dust and splash resistance. The Poco M2 Pro will go on sale via Flipkart from July 14th at a starting price of 13,999 rupees for the 4GB RAM 64GB base model. TikTok will exit the Hong Kong market within days, news agency Reuters reported, quoting a company spokesman. The short video app will join other technology companies, including Facebook, that have been suspended processing government requests for user data in the region. The short-form video app, owned by China-based ByteDance, has made the decision to exit the region following China's establishment of a sweeping new national security law for the semi-autonomous city. PUBG Mobile's new and exclusive Livic map has gone live via the version 0.19.0 update that is available to download on both Android and iOS devices. Livic is a smaller map exclusive to the mobile version of the game, one that will result in shorter matches. It will be capped at a maximum of 52 players per match with 15 minutes of total match time. The Nordic-style map is filled with snowy mountains, greenlands and bright blossoms and features exclusive machinery like the P90 SMG and MK12 rifle as well as a monster truck. The update also brings Spark, the flame-themed gameplay on Erangel and Miramar maps in classic mode, a team gun game as part of new arena gameplay and other basic fixes and improvements. The production of Apple's upcoming smartphone, the iPhone 12, has reportedly been hit by the pandemic and probably won't be able to make it for a September launch. According to a Nikkei Asian Review report, the California-based tech giant is running one to two months behind schedule, mostly due to faster MM Wave 5G components. The iPhone 12 launch could face further delays as some of the final designs for parts have not yet been locked down. However, the report adds, Apple has aggressively tried to cut delays to prevent it from being postponed to next year. Apple is expected to launch four new iPhones later this year with OLED displays and 5G connectivity. But the iPhone 12 series phones are rumored to come without a charger or earbuds in the box. New reports indicate that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 series smartphone could go on sale from August 21st, a couple of weeks after being unveiled at the online Unpack 2020 event. Although it's not official, Samsung's annual event is expected to take place on August 5th, where the South Korean tech giant might also announce its Galaxy Fold 2 and Galaxy Z Flip 5G. Both the foldable phones will likely hit the shelves at a later date. Samsung is rolling out a new firmware update for the Galaxy A51 and the Galaxy A71 that brings the same camera features from its flagship Galaxy S20 smartphones. These features weren't a part of the One UI 2.1 update that came to the A51 a couple of months back. Both the popular mid-rangers get the full-fledged Pro mode, including manual focus and shutter speed control. The update also brings night hyperlapse, my filters, single take and an AI feature that can capture images using several different camera modes simultaneously. Other features include quick share, music share and new keyboard, while the Galaxy A71 has been bumped up to One UI 2.1 with the latest firmware. Microsoft has outlined plans to host its second Xbox Series X Games Showcase on July 23rd, providing a sample of upcoming titles headed for its next-generation console. The highly anticipated live stream will kick off at 9.30pm IST on the Xbox website, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook and Twitter. It promises a variety of planned Xbox Series X releases, including its first-party lineup under the Xbox Game Studios family. 
While all the upcoming titles are shrouded in mystery, the latest installment of the hit Xbox exclusive shooter, the Halo Infinite, has confirmed its attendance. The Xbox Series X is planned for a late 2020 launch. The price of Motorola's mid-range smartphone, the One Fusion Plus, has been hiked in India in less than a month of its launch. The device, which has only gone for a limited sale only twice since its launch, will now retail at 17,499 when it goes on another sale on July 13. The smartphone features a 6.5-inch Full HD Plus display and is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G SoC. Coupled with Adreno 618 GPU, 6 GB RAM and 128 GB internal storage. It comes with a 64 megapixel quad rear camera setup, a 16 megapixel pop-up selfie snapper and a dedicated Google Assistant button. The Motorola One Fusion Plus also packs a 5000 mAh battery with support for 18 watts turbo power fast charging technology. According to tech news website 91 Mobiles, Oppo is planning to launch the Reno 4 Pro smartphone in India in the third week of July. The Oppo Reno 4 Pro was launched in China last month with the Snapdragon 765G chipset, a 6.5-inch curved display with 90Hz refresh rate and HDR10+. But the Indian variant of the smartphone is tipped to feature a smaller screen and a higher 120Hz refresh rate. The phone is expected to come with a 48 megapixel triple rear camera with OIS and 5x hybrid zoom support. The phone packs a 4000 mAh battery with 65 watt super flash charge fast charging. The Oppo Reno 4 Pro starts at 3,799 yuan for the 8GB RAM 128GB storage model, but Indian pricing has not been confirmed yet.